So let me explain you the 10 week program session plan. So what we'll be covering in week one, we'll talk about the introduction and initial configuration of the firewall. And we'll talk about security fabric, how the next generation firewall is connected with cloud, how it's connected with switches, routers, endpoints, and, and analytics and managers, 40 managers. That will help you to understand the entire fabric, how in the corporate network, how the entire security infrastructure is set up, you'll be able to understand. The second week, we'll talk about policies, which is mainly to allow or deny certain access to the users. So we'll talk about firewall policies. And also we'll talk about network at this translation because most of the corporates and your offices are connected to the internet. And then you need to have a private and public IP address. That means you need to do network address translation. We'll talk about that in detail. In week three, we'll talk about how to authenticate for accessing the firewall or even the domain, we'll talk about that. And the most important thing is logging and monitoring. If any incident happened, where you can go and check if somebody has violated the policy, if there is some attack, so how you can monitor. So we'll tell you and guide you with a simple you know, graphical user interface where you can go and check what is happening inside your network. And fourth week, we'll talk about certificates and operation like certification authority. If you want to have a centralized public key infrastructure, PK infrastructure, and you want to enable uh, certification authority, then how you can enable that. That will mainly provide you know, CIA confidentiality, integrity, and authentication. Then we'll also talk about web filtering. So if you are accessing internet, you know, which site should be allowed, which site should be blocked, if it is uh, you know, malicious site, if it is a pornography site, if it is a game and terrorist site, how it can classify and block those sites, we'll talk about in book filter. And week five, we'll talk about application control, even though you have allowed, for example, Facebook, but we may allow only viewing the Facebook, but we will not allow them to watch video or use Facebook Messenger to chat. So you can have minute control on how application is working, how application can be controlled for the users who are in the corporate network when they're accessing the social media or any other applications outside. And we'll talk about antivirus, you know, network-based antivirus. So when any files, when somebody is sitting inside your office downloading a file, a PDF or bad, if it is if it contains any malicious code or worms, you know, then how our malware, how it can detect and you know, put them into quarantine and make sure that it's clean before it is sent to the user. We'll talk about that. And week six, we'll talk about intrusion prevention and denial of service attack, and also SSL VPN. Since most of the users right now working from home, they need a secure connectivity to the office. So we'll talk about SSL VPN, how it can help you to remotely connect to your head office using encryption. We'll talk about that. And when it will move on to week seven to 10 advanced topics like routing and switching, SD band, uh, mainly you are moving most of your application to the cloud. So how you can connect your remote offices, the branch offices, instead of coming to the head office where you traditionally happen to uh, keep your data center right now, it's moved to cloud. So you can use SD band to take decision, you know, software defined wide area network, how it can take decision based on the application, based on the SLAs, latencies, and bandwidth requirement, and so on. Then we'll talk about VDOMs, virtual domain, how you can split a single firewall, single device into multiple firewalls, you know, and configure different policies. And also we'll talk about switching, how you can micro segment each department like HR, you know, um, finance, development team, production team, so you can do that micro segmentation with VDOMs and switching. And also we'll talk about site-to-site -site VPN because if you're connecting your branch offices, you, are, you have a head office in, uh, in a particular uh, head of the country uh, and you have branch offices across all across the country or across the globe, then you want to connect them remotely uh, with secure connectivity, then you need to have site-to-site -site VPN with IPsec. 
So we'll also talk about that, which is normally implemented in most of the companies where they are expanding across the country or across the globe. They will talk about single sign-on, how you can use the same uh, username password in Active Directory for authenticating Fortinet, accessing you know, applications. So how you can use a single uh, sign-on methodology uh, for uh, accessing multiple services. Then week 10, we'll talk about high availability and diagnostics. So these are the lesson plan. And also the learning outcome at the end of these 10 weeks, you will be able to configure a next generation firewall, basic setup, and also you'll be able to configure the policies. You will be able to set up VPN for your office. You will be able to do antivirus policies. Maybe you will be able to allow which applications to be accessed. You'll be able to set up micro segmentation. So as a network security administrator, you will be able to provision the entire company network security. That is the learning outcome of this course. Not only that, you will be able to understand how these attacks are happening. You know, who is having virus and worms? And what is the security rating of your entire network infrastructure? How the fabrics are connected? So you will go beyond just network security. Also, we'll understand some of the cybersecurity concept on hacking, attacks, you know, cybersecurity score and assessments and so on and so forth. That's something which will help you when you apply for a job or if you're working in the company when you want to get into cybersecurity field and network security field, that's definitely is going to help you.